the user. So in today's video, we will see how to easily add and remove desktop in Fedora workstation. So friends, on one of my laptop, I installed Fedora and a few months back, I had a mood to change the desktop and try out dif different desktops, how they work on Fedora workstation. So first I thought about KDE desktop. So to install the KDE uh, desktop on Fedora, you have to give the command sudo dnf install at the red kd dash desktop dash environment dnf is the package manager for fedora now this at the red kd dot desktop dot environment syntax is different for the different uh, gnu linux distros for K, uh, for fedora it is at the red kd dash desktop dash environment now you after that you uh, enter and then give the sudo password again enter now the system will check for the last metadata expiration date that is the uh, whatever the repositories uh, data is there uh, the metadata any the data regarding the packages of the repository when was it expired because what happens is if you don't uh, update do daily updates then the system uh, will not be able to do the metadata che check uh, do the sync of the repo data so then the metadata will expire in your system so it is telling me uh, the last uh, metadata expiration check was 205.23 ago on Sunday 4th July 2021 now next it is showing me no match for group packages k3b extra free world now k3b is the dvd writer no match for the group package xorg x11 DRV ARMSOC. Now ARMSOC is nothing but the ARM platform. The drivers for the XORG LX11 drivers for the ARM platform. But we are on Intel x64 platform. So it, it will not matter to us. No match for the group package Plasma Workshop Workspace XORG. It is uh, uh, it might be critical, but after that the system is giving message that dependencies are solved. So this are this is not critical so it will not stop our installation otherwise if this uh, critical uh, issues are there then the system will not proceed with the install download and install so now it will show the package list so it starts it is a very big package list so 460 uh, 461 packages are there then it will show what group packages they are installing the installing environment groups the kd plasma box uh, workspaces installing groups admin tools basics core dial-up networking support fonts guest desktop agents hardware support input methods kd k desktop environment multimedia common network manager for sub modules printing supports and the standard kd group now it will give the transaction summary so it will install 440 packages total download size will be 4.8 mb install size will be 1.4 g is this okay you have to type either yes or no if you change your mind so you don't want to install kd because it is very big or you just change your mind for any other reason you say no and the system will stop there there will be no download of the packages so i i have given the yes choice now it will system will start downloading one by one now <clears throat> suppose at this juncture i thought uh, you might come you might think that no 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 no, i don't want to install the kd desktop so what you can do is you can terminate the downloads here then the downloader then system will give the message the downloader package is were saved in cache until the next successful transaction you can remove the cache package by executing dnf clean packages error error downloading packages so interrupted by the sig int uh, signal that is the interruption signal we are given now you can give the command sudo dnf clean packages so 183 fi files which were downloaded you can see the number here 183 it is 183 package all these do downloaded uh, packages were removed now i decided to stop the kde desktop environment installation and start with xfc desktop environment so Give the command sudo dnf install at the rate xfc dash desktop the environment. It will again do the metadata check. Now it will give you some non-critical 
messages like no match for package group xorg x11 drv all sort by it is not critical because we are on intel x64 platform not on arm platform so the dependencies are resolved now it will give you the package list there are total one uh, in the packet after the completion of the list it will show the transaction summary install 164 packages total size download size is 144 mb install size is 395 mb is this okay yes or no you can terminate if you don't say you don't want to install xfpc now and try some other uh, desktop you can terminate it here the system will not download if you say yes the system will start download the packages automatically you can terminate uh, the down download also like i showed you in the kdd desktop download total so it will give you a summation total uh, 144 mbps have downloaded at average speed of 303 kbps rpm fusion for fedora 34 non free that is the rpm fusion repo for the fedora 34 non free uh, software packages now it will import the gpg uh, key automatically from the server repo uh, server repo <coughs> for the rpm fusion uh, re uh, repo now it will give fingerprint also id will also come down so it will show you the path where this uh, key will be stored key uh, yes jpg key and the fingerprint will be stored is this okay if if this id is okay you can cross check it cross check it with the server id if it is okay then you have to say yes now the key will be successfully imp uh, imported now it will start the further transaction check transaction check is succeeded running transaction test transaction test is also succeeded running the transaction so it will start the installing and uh, updating the system links so it might it will take some time maybe 15 20 minutes after the after uh, <coughs> installation it will verify all the packages after the download it will verify all the packages after install also it will uh, once again again verify it say everything is okay or not then <coughs> it will continue further you can see here installation of further packages and after all the packages are complete it will give the message complete and a exclamatory mark now if you want to uh, remove the xfce desktop environment you have to give the command sudo dnf auto remove at the rate xfce dash desktop dash environment you have to remember this syntax you, it is different for the different gnu linux distros keep in mind just give your uh, sudo password then it will automatically pick the packages for uninstallation and at the end it will give you message removing desktop environments xfce desktop removing groups xfce transaction summary 103 packages will be removed freed spaces uh, free spaces 289 mb is this okay you have to say okay transaction check will be done transaction uh, test will be done and then it will finally start erasing or deleting the xfc packages from the system and it will install uh, uninstall the xfc desktop environment completely it is a clean uninstall so maybe sometimes what happens is if say the packages common packages are there so in gino gnome and budgie desktop and if you install uninstall any one of the gnome or budgie desktop then some pack residue packages will remain because they are used in both the desktop so those packages will not be removed so at the end of the all the removal of all the packages of xfc desktop it will show you complete an exclamatory mark message and you have to now re reboot your system so your system after all installations and removals is back to the uh, back to the original uh, <coughs> state where you started okay thank you very much this is the end of the video uh, do like our channel do subscribe to our channel do comment in our channel do engage with us thank you very much see you again in the next video bye